Good morning, everyone. My name is Jelena Lislebak of Fort St. Mark. Today, I will share some information about proper waste management or proper waste disposal and the reason why we need to do this. Waste are unwanted or unusable materials which is discarded after primary use or is worthless, defective, and of no use. There are many types of waste. Municipal waste includes household waste, commercial waste, and demolition waste. Hazardous waste or industrial waste. Biomedical waste or clinical waste. Special hazardous waste includes radioactive waste, explosive waste, and electronic waste or e-waste. What do you think will happen to fruit peelings, vegetable scraps, and eggshells left in an open area for three days? Well, your guess is right! These materials will decay and give a bad smell. They are known as biodegradable materials. Biodegradable materials help make the soil fertile. When decomposers break down waste, they return the nutrients to the soil. Decomposers are organisms that cause biodegradable materials to decay. Food waste, paper, wood, and fabric are also biodegradable materials. Decaying waste should be properly disposed. They can be breeding grounds of cockroaches, rats, and mosquitoes, which carry diseases. Spoiled foods can also cause diarrhea and food poisoning. But do you know that there are some materials that do not decay at all? Some takes a very long time to decay. These are known as non-biodegradable materials. Plastic, glasses, and metals are non-biodegradable. When thrown away, these materials cannot be broken down by bacteria or other living organisms. Non-biodegradable may become toxic and may cause pollution if not properly stored or disposed. This may destroy the environment and harm living organisms. In the simplest terms, it can be defined as the collection, transportation, and disposal of garbage, sewage, and other waste products. But do you know that we can make use of these waste materials? Return waste to factories through recycling programs. Instead of throwing old clothes or cloth remnants from garment factories, turn them into rugs for sale. Repair bags with handle and zipper problems or donate them. Animal waste and scrap vegetables may be converted to feed or fertilizers. Discarded tetra pack may be made into bags and baskets. Waste materials are also used as filling. Feathers from duck, chickens, and geese may be used as fillers of comforters, coats, sleeping bags, and pillows. Kitchen waste like fish and trails, meat bones, vegetable cuttings, spoiled foods, fruits, and peelings may be used to feed hogs. Food waste that ferments can be processed into wine, vinegar, and nata de coco. Each person creates waste such as plastic containers, used paper, broken tires, food packages, and bottles made of styrofoam, cardboard, and plastics. Waste can be harmful to humans and to the environment. To keep the environment clean, 
Waste materials must be properly disposed. Reduce the materials you use and buy. It is important to choose first what you need before you buy so you do not create more garbage. Next, reuse materials to conserve resources and reduce piles of waste. Some of the things that we can reuse are old clothes, bags, crayons, and plastic bottles. And last but not least, recycle waste materials to create something new. Practice composting. Composting is a natural process that breaks down organic materials into reusable resource. Compost improves the soil. So here's the summary of what we have discussed today. Waste are unwanted or unusable materials which is discarded after use. Waste can be classified as biodegradable and non-biodegradable materials. Decayed or decomposed material produces bad odor. Spoiled foods when eaten may cause food poisoning, vomiting, stomach pain, cramps, diarrhea, and may even cause death. Waste that are not properly disposed may clog our sewers and drainage that may cause flood and pollution that may destroy our environment and harm living organisms. Let us practice waste segregation at all times. Always remember that waste that decay should go to biodegradable trash bin and waste that takes a very long time to decay or doesn't decay at all should all go to non-biodegradable trash bin remember that these little hands can change the world thank you for watching